engineering 2 plus 2 dual degree program. Uh, we have with us along with me, uh, Dr. Madhuri Bhausar. Uh, she is head of the department computer science and engineering. Uh, we also have uh, Dr. Mehul Nayak. He is head of um, international relations. Uh, so the plan for this today's session would be uh, initially uh, Professor Madhuri uh, Bhausar will speak uh, uh, for some time and after that uh, we'll hand over the session to Dr. Mehul Nayak and after that we'll have the question answer session open house. So ma'am, uh, please. Yeah, uh, good evening all of you. I hope I'm audible. Junin, your voice was very low to me. I don't know. A am I properly okay, audible? I will, uh, yeah, you are audible, ma'am. Clearly audible. Yeah. So, uh, computer science and engineering department, along with uh, international relations, uh, basically offering this program, um, Bachelor of Science. It is not BSc, Bachelor of Science 2 plus 2. So, details will be basically covered in the presentation. But let me tell you one thing the uh, department of CSE is the most uh, vibrant and uh, largest department of the university, having uh, uh, more than 64 faculty members. All are uh, either PhD completed or they are pursuing PhD. And they are expert in the thirst areas of the computing field. We are having um, BTEC, CSE, MTEC. CAC, MTech CAC with specialization in data science, MTech CAC specialization with uh, cyber security, MCA, PhD, and BTech integrated MBA program. BS is a very special program where lots of efforts are taken in collaborating with the reputed universities from United States and Canada. So details will be taken care uh, during the presentation. So I welcome you all to this open house. And uh, I look forward uh, for your, uh, you know, uh, visit and your, uh, what to say, uh, you know, uh, specific contributions in um, collaborating with Nirma University. So I welcome you all. Over to you, Dr. Zunun. I would now invite uh, Dr. Mehul, sir, uh, for the session. Yeah, thanks, Zunun. Uh, welcome, everyone. This is Professor Mehul Naik. Uh, so we'll talk about this uh, very novel program that Nirma University has introduced uh, last year. Uh, so let me present. I hope the slide is visible to all of you. Zunun, I'm on the first slide. Yes, Just, sir. Yeah, uh, it's visible. Yeah. So this is a two plus two dual degree program. A little bit about myself. I did my bachelor's and master's and PhD in electronic engineering. I did my higher education from the US, uh, Stevens Technology, Stevens Tech in uh, New Jersey. I lived in the US for 17 years with work experience in uh, AT&T Bell Labs, Lucent Technologies. So I'm basically an engineer. And 2008, I came back to India and I joined Nirma. And since last 15 years, I'm with Nirma University as a professor of electronic engineering. And also I'm heading the international relations. Uh, my office uh, takes care of all the academic and industrial collaborations across the globe and we are executing all the international MOUs. So international relation at Nirma University. So we have uh, uh, MOUs. We have under these MOUs, summer research internships at foreign universities for the students. We have collaborative teaching in which uh, professors from foreign universities, they teach our regular classes either online or offline, we invite them to our campus for a couple of weeks, for a month, and they deliver seminars, workshops. We are also uh, involved in joint research where, you know, the faculty members from Nirma as well as the foreign institutes, they do the research. For example, we have a very active collaboration with uh, State University of New York, Binghamton, 
where we have jointly established Center for Excellence in Data Science, in which the faculty members uh, are jointly working on some consultancy. We have special programs for the students, like a semester abroad program in which student can uh, spend one semester into a US and Canadian university and the two plus two dual degree program. Uh, so this is about the international uh, relations and the activities in Nirma. Our international collaboration goes back to 1998. And we are, a we are very proud that we have these uh, first ever MOU with Florida Atlantic University that was signed in 1998. We visit foreign universities quite often. Almost every year we go to foreign universities. You can see the photographs here. We also visit uh, uh, companies in the US and Canada. Uh, for example, Intel, there is a photograph on the lower right where uh, this office is in California. So we visit industries also. So basically this two plus two program that we introduce, it revolves around these uh, 13 partners that we have. You can see on this slide, we have uh, nine from the US and four from Canada. So I will introduce all these uh, international uh, universities one by one, but First of all, what is this program? So we introduced this last year. You know, lately in last decade, the engineering is becoming more and more interdisciplinary. All the engineering branches are connecting with each other, right? Cars are not, not only mechanical cars anymore. More than 50% is electronics nowadays or electrical car. Buildings are automated. Chemical plants are automated. Industry is becoming more and more uh, uh, controlled by the controllers and the computers, IoT and whatnot. So this is our mantra that when it is engineering, go interdisciplinary and go global. So go global is the mantra behind this two plus two dual degree program. The pathway is something like this. The student will study two years, the first two years at Nirma University. And after two years, the student will be admitted into either the US or Canadian University and spend the third and fourth year at Canada or US. And after this total two plus two, four years, the student will get two degrees, one degree from Nirma University, which is BS in Computer Science and Engineering, it is a four year degree that Nirma University will award. At the same time, the student will get US or Canada University's degree, which is the BS. Now, just to clarify, there is nothing like BTEC or BE in the US and Canada. The engineering degrees in the US and Canada are called BS and MS. The concept of Bachelor of Technology or Bachelor of Engineering is in India. US and Canada has only BS and MS and that is why we call this program BS. Computer Science and Engineering 2 plus 2. Okay. So the students uh, can get admitted into US and Canada into various majors which are related to Computer Science. The majors are computer science, uh, data science, computer engineering, information technology, artificial intelligence, gaming, cybersecurity, business analytics. So these are the various majors. Now, the important aspect of this program is actually, uh, you know, it's not two plus two plus it, but it can be two plus two plus one because if the student continues after the BS in the same university, student can finish the master's within less than one year. It will take just two semesters for the student to finish the master's. Usually, if the students join the master's fresh, 
it will take two years. But if, if the student continues through this program, then it is two plus two plus one, and the student will save one year. So basically, he or she will get one extra year of the salary in the US or Canada. What is another advantage? The international career with the salary of almost US dollar 70,000 to $85,000 per year. So this is the introduction of, you know, what this two plus two program is. Now we'll talk about our partner universities from the US. These are the nine universities. Penn State, USC, Iowa State, Binghamton, RIT, Arizona, Virginia Commonwealth, University of Houston, and FAU. And these are the universities in Canada, Carlton, Dalhousie, Victoria, and Memorial. So one by one, USC. This is in Los Angeles, California. The rank is 28 as per the Times Higher Education ranking. And we have a very good collaboration since uh, 2012. USC is a private uh, university. Penn State, it is a state university of Pennsylvania in uh, State College, Pennsylvania with the rank of 46. Iowa State University, it is in Ames, Iowa with the rank 91. Binghamton University is actually the State University of New York at Binghamton. Rank is 114 and we have very active collaboration since uh, 2017. Arizona State University has ranked 50. It is in Tempe, Arizona. It is the number one innovation university of the US. Florida Atlantic University, Boca Raton, Florida with the rank 136. Our collaboration since 1998, RIT, which is Rochester Institute of Technology in New York. It is a private university with the rank 166. University of Houston, it is a state university of Texas with the rank 114. And finally, Virginia Commonwealth University with rank 106. In Canada, Carlton University, <clears throat> it is in Ottawa. It is a public university. We are, we are partners in 2017. Delhousie University is our new partner. It's also a public university in Nova Scotia. In the province of Newfoundland and Labrador, there is Memorial University of Newfoundland. And all the way to the west of Canada, in the province of British Columbia, we have University of Victoria. So uh, you can apply for this two plus two program in Nirma uh, University. The eligibility to apply is the student must pass the 12th standard exam with uh, uh, mass physics and chemistry, computer bio or biotech subject with minimum of 60% aggregate. This is not percentile, this is percentage. So minimum 60% the students should have, that is the eligibility. And we give the admission based on uh, JWE and GUJCAT. I will just pause here. I just want to chart my phone here. Okay, so yeah, students should have a JWE exam uh, valid score, JWE means, or a GUJCAT. GUJCAT is a entrance exams in Gujarat, and you can apply online. The fee structure is uh, US dollar 6,500 per year. This is a tuition fee for the first two years. Again, US dollar 6,500 per year. We also have uh, 
you know, 51 seats for the All India category and nine seats for NRI or NRI sponsored candidates. And there are nine supernumerary, that is extra seats for the students from the Gulf countries or OCIs. Now we have designed the curriculum for the first two years uh, in order to make sure that the whole two years will be transferred to the US and Canada University. And for that, we looked at the ABET curriculum and the courses in the first two years, basically they include uh, basic engineering and sciences, humanities, maths, and computer science and engineering. This is, uh, this slide will give you a little bit of details about what this curriculum is for the four semester. And you can see that there are a lot of humanities courses like uh, uh, ethics and values, design thinking and creativity, economics, organizational behavior. There are English uh, language requirement in the US and Canada. So we have three courses on English, which is rhetoric and composition, effective writing, effective reading, and the rest are maths, science, and the computer science courses. So this is a curriculum that will make sure that students, when they transfer into the third year in the US and Canada, they will get 64 credits of transfer. The total credits required in the US or Canada for the BS degree is 126 or 128, and half of them, they will get transfer. So that is the beauty of this curriculum. So we have a very good uh, faculty of engineering at NIRMA. Uh, we are having, you know, over 25 years of experience running an engineering program. NIRMA is the first ever private institute in Gujarat. Uh, in 1995, we started this Institute of uh, Technology and uh, we have very vibrant uh, student clubs and very huge alumni base and international collaboration. Now, after two years, the student will apply in the foreign universities, you know, those 13 universities which I introduced, and my office will help student apply on the, at these universities. Student can apply in any of those 13 universities, it is up to them, but the admissions will be given based on the, the performance at two years of NIRMA. So minimum CGPA required from the universities and also for the English proficiency TOEFL or IELTS exam is required. SAT is not required because of our collaboration that is waived and students should get two letters of recommendation. Now the fee structure in the uh, US and Canada, it is approximately uh, $30,000 per year if it is a state university and about $60,000 a year if it is a private university. And the living expense is extra, which is about ten dollars to $12,000 per year. Now, scholarship, right? You may be thinking that uh, this expense is, you know, a little bit high. Uh, do we get uh, scholarship or assistantships? So, you know, there in the US and Canada, the assistantships are given by professors and the student will develop a rapport with the professor in the third year. And then it is probable that during the fourth year, he or she will get the assistantship. And if he continues for the masters in the same university, then the professor with whom he was or she was working, the professor will definitely will give the assistantship, which is complete tuition waiver and also stipend. Yeah, I forgot to mention one thing that if the student continues after BS and joins master's program in the same university, then GRE is not required. Visa, if it is a US, then uh, you require I-20 from the university for the student visa. And if it is Canada, then the acceptance letter the parents will produce the financial documents, making sure that uh, they have the fund for at least one year of tuition as well as uh, living expense. Uh, of course, the 
responsibility of getting a visa lies on the student's shoulder. Uh, no university can uh, guarantee the visa. However, we will facilitate the process. And nowadays, US and Canada are very flexible in uh, giving the student visa. In case the visa is not granted or if for any reason, if student is not uh, able to go to US or Canada, right? Uh, then the student will continue the third and fourth year at Nirma University, right? And Nirma will award the BS degree. This is a four year degree equivalent to BTEC and BE already recognized by the industries as well as other institutes for the master's program. The students who are continuing with the third and fourth year in the Nirma will have uh, the placement opportunity also, right? So I just wanted to clarify this thing. Now, the employment opportunities while you are at the foreign university. In the US, uh, the student can work on campus for 20 hours a week during the semester and 40 hours a week during the summer. So this is, these 20 and 40 hours are good enough to take care of the living expenses. After the BS or MS degree, the student will get three years of uh, uh, legal authorization to work in the industries. It is called OPT, Optional Practical Training in the US. And in Canada, the student will definitely get three years of work permit. And during these uh, three years of OPT, in the US, the company will sponsor for the H1 and the journey goes on. So what is the pathway if it is a US journey? You complete the BS degree on F1 visa, which is two plus two. You can join the MS program. This is optional. It will take one year. Then you are on OPT, that is uh, optional practical training. That is three years you're working for a company. Within these three years, the US company will uh, sponsor for your H1 visa. Now H1 visa is a lottery system. If you don't get in the first year, the second year they will try. If not, they will try for the third year. And there are more than 90% chances that within three attempts, you will get the H1 visa. H1 visa is for the six years and it can be renewed for another six years. Once you are on H1, the same company will also sponsor the green card application, which is called the labor certification. And you will get the green card. Once you are on green card for five years, you become a US citizen. So this is the pathway for the US and for the Canada. You complete your BS degree, two plus two. Maybe you join masters also. In the Canada, you will get the work permit to work officially in the companies for the three years. And while you are on work permit, you will get the PR, which is a permanent residentship. Once you are on PR for three years, you can apply for Canadian citizenship. And uh, one advantage of Canadian citizenship, as far as the US is concerned is, uh, you can work in the US on TN1 visa. So basically this is a excellent program if uh, you are very firm right now to make a career in the US or Canada. There are students, there are parents who are very firm that you know they, 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 they want to develop a career in the US or Canada, then this is a really uh, an excellent program. It gives, a, it gives you a jump start. It's a compromise between Indian education as well as uh, US and Canada education system, two plus two. It's a compromise between the expenses, right? And, uh, you know, based on my experience, I can definitely say that I worked for industries in the US almost, you know, 15 years. And that experience is really mind blowing. The resources that you have in the companies, the, the work ethics that you learn, the, the environment that you are getting for your research, for your development, that, that, is, uh, that is amazing. The student will become 
a, a, a working professional and uh, it, it this gives a global exposure open mindedness excellent skills you know that if you spend at least 5 years maybe 10 years then the whole world is open for you for your professional career you can always come back to india and have uh, your own industry here or you can join the multinationals in india or you can have your own company in the us or canada and you can enjoy that uh, very rich professional life so in the summary nirma has something for everybody nirma has btech program which is a regular four year programs which is one of the best in the country which offers uh, seven disciplines so computer science civil engineering electrical engineering elect electronics and communication electronics and instrumentation chemical and mechanical nirma also offers b btech computer science and mba five year integrated program so there are students who are very firm on becoming manager then that is a program to go for with and the latest one 2 plus 2 dual degree program with foreign exposure is for those who are very firm on going to the us and canada and they want to make international career so with these i end the presentation and i open up uh, this for uh, question answers zunun yes sir <clears throat> yes sir the session is now open for the question answer uh, if somebody wants to you know, ask a question please unmute yourself and ask hello sir yes sir i am from surat and my daughter is in class 12 uh, actually i missed out that uh, beginning part so i want to know that nirma has just introduced this uh, bs degree program from this year or no, or earlier uh, it was there we we have we introduced this program last year okay so okay. this is the second year and actually we had a similar program 2 plus 2 in 1998 and that we run up to 2003 and that was the program with florida atlantic university but in the meantime we have developed partnerships with uh, you know almost 13 universities uh, we ourselves also became a university uh, we are accredited with a plus grade with uh, ugc and uh, in 2000 uh, uh 21 ugc uh came out with uh, regulations that those universities who are having a plus grade can have joint programs with uh, foreign uh, universities and that allowed us to again start this 2 plus 2 program and that is why we have introduced this last year this is the second year ma'am okay sir and another question is there sir uh, uh, you have not uh, specified the syllabus of third year and fourth year it must be depend on other universities only yes yes exactly you are absolutely right wherever uh, your your son or daughter gets admission let's say penn state then whatever syllabus penn state is following that is to be covered see once the student uh, finishes two years then everything is uh, now as per the us or canada university rules and regulations okay and my last question is sir uh, you have told that admission will be on the basis of jwe mains and my daughter uh, got 81.88 percentile in open category so uh, means are you going to declare a new merit list or like that the application deadline is uh... application deadline is may 25 so we right. are still we are still accepting the applications online all right so you can always apply online 82 percentile that your daughter has has a good chances of getting into this program and okay. admissions are based on either jwe mains or gujcat okay sir actually she has not appeared for gujcat she uh, no problem jwe mains is fine 
and uh, uh, last year cut off was uh, can you uh, tell about that for open category yeah it was around 80 around 80 okay so so thank you sir yeah those were very good questions yeah thank you sir. your name ma'am you are you are you are from surat yeah so i am from surat and my name is purvi nayar uh, just we actually uh, yeah like, we actually had a seminar in the surat last sunday but i am glad you joined today and uh, uh, wish you all the best for your for your daughter's career yeah any more questions please anyone else please open up your microphone and ask mr naik uh, good evening this is uh, the father of shrey jain uh, we are based out in hyderabad uh, wanted to ask a question that uh, say he gets selected for the course and after 2 years what is the guarantee that he will get into any of these nine universities or uh, he will get into it or uh, he will not get into it we just wanted to understand that as long as the student is getting the minimum cgpa requirement of the foreign university right we guarantee the admission and that is i mean you rely on nirmas collaborations with the us and canadian universities why do we do collaboration i mean we we must provide some advantage to our students and that is advantage our relation our academic relations uh, the curriculum that we have designed the the teaching learning processes that we follow which we communicate to our uh, foreign partners and that that makes them rely on us and that will definitely guarantee the admission as long as that minimum cgpa is required and we have uh, nine universities in us four in canada and we have selected these across the geographical region of this north america and rank wise also they they are Uh, uh up to you know rank 150 across the us so you know we have something for every student i sure. hope i answer your question yes and i just wanted to understand what will be the total intake for this batch and uh, per university is any kind of seat allocation out there the intake is 51 all india category 9 nri so 60 plus 9 extra for the foreign students or students coming from the gulf countries so that way total intake is 69 all india category 51 uh, as per the foreign universities quota there is no such quota that you know uh, some universities will have only some number but there is no limit it is up to the university and you know in foreign university there is no fixed intake in india the intake is fixed regulated by ugc iict etc but in us and canada they are not that much regulated with the intake they can take 50 they can take 150 they can take 250 it is up to them so there is nothing that stop us or canada university to ha to hire more students from nirma if they find eligible understood thank you very much i'm glad you joined from hyderabad and uh, uh, I'm sure your ward will get very good environment in Nirma. Thank you. He's got eighty-six percent in the JEE. Let's see. We will definitely attempt it with you. Yeah. Hello, sir. Hello. Ha, may I Gujarati me baat kar sakta hu, sir? Chokas, chokas. Apne Gujarati ma, Hindi ma, ek baat kari shakti sir. नमस्कार सर नमस्कार सन से गुजरात बोर्ड फॉर्म भर निर्मा प्रायोरिटी एडमिशन ऑलरेडी फाइल चालू है तो अर्ष पूरु कर खरो फाइल चालू है संदर्भ में 
એક્સલન્ટ તમારા માટે તો હું કહું હું પોતે યુએસ સિટીઝન છું ભાઈ ઓકે સર હું હું અમેરિકા 70 વર્ષ રહ્યો છું બરાબર અને આ બધા રૂલ્સ રેગ્યુલેશન થી જાણ છું મે પણ ફેમિલી માં આ રીતના ફાઈલ કરેલું છે મારા બ્રધર સિસ્ટર્સ માટે બેસિકલી તમારા પ્રશ્ન તમારા પ્રશ્નનો જવાબ સીધે સીધો આપું તો તમે તમારા સન માટે જે ગ્રીન કાર્ડ ની એપ્લિકેશન થઈ છે એની એના ઉપર આ સ્ટુડન્ટ વિઝા નો જયારે આપણે એપ્લાય કરીશું એની કોઈ અસર ન થાય બરાબર બરાબર બંને વસ્તુ ઇન્ડિપેન્ડન્ટ છે તમારી ગ્રીન કાર્ડ ની ફાઈલ માં જયારે પણ ખુલે ત્યારે એ લોકો એવું ના કે કે તમે આ ટુ પ્લસ ટુ માં સ્ટુડન્ટ વિઝા માં કેમ આવ્યા એ એ બિલકુલ એ લોકો એવું ન કહી શકે અને જયારે ટુ પ્લસ ટુ માં તમે એડમિટ લઈને સ્ટુડન્ટ વિઝા માટે એપ્લાય કરશો ત્યારે પણ એ લોકો એવું ના કહી શકે કે ભાઈ તમારું ગ્રીન કાર્ડ માં તો ઓલરેડી ફાઈલ થયું છે રાઈટ એનું રીઝન તમને કહું એનું એનું કારણ કહું તમને કે અમેરિકા અને કેનેડામાં હાયર એજ્યુકેશનમાં સ્ટુડન્ટ ની જરૂર છે સ્ટુડન્ટ ઓછા થયા છે એટલે તમે પણ જો નોટ કર્યું હોય તો છેલ્લા પાંચ સાત વર્ષમાં અમદાવાદ ને બરોડા સુરત વગેરે મોટા મોટા શહેરોમાં અમેરિકાની યુનિવર્સિટી ग्रीन कार्ड पर त्या जवाज हो तो आ प्रोग्राम घो सारो कहवा कारण जम्प स्टार्ट मैं पहले थी एक्सपीरियर मैं बराबर उट so if you just give you an example usc university of southern california uh, or uh, penn state or arizona state universities these are uh, high rank universities so they require 3.3 cgpa requirements right there are other universities uh, who from our partner list which requires 2.8 as the minimum cgpa requirement so it it varies across the border okay 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 and uh, another question mm, uh, you, have, you have mentioned the cost that is minimum 30000 us dollar expense for one year as a tuition fee uh, so is is this for us universities or for canada this is the approximate range you know 25000 dollar to 30000 dollars per year us or canada and this is just a tuition fee for public universities state universities in the private it will be double okay but uh, you know finance uh, uh, solanki bhai uh, fi- financing is not a problem uh, because of two reasons one when the student starts working after bs or ms with the salary of about you know 80 85000 dollars per year within within one year the student will be able to pay back all the expenses that is one right okay second there are almost every bank which gives a loan so uh, getting loan is has become very easy and if if this if this is considered as an investment you know when a businessman invest in a new venture similarly you are starting a new venture for your son Uh, higher education in us and canada so you are investing you are investing those uh, you know 80 90000 dollars and your son or daughter will pay it back within one year 
of getting the job and getting a job is a not a problem because computer science computer engineering data science cyber security gaming information technology artificial intelligence these are the domain in the us where there are plenty of jobs and foreigners are very uh, favorite of the companies to offer the jobs in this domain okay uh, i have asked because uh, see sometimes na before investment we have to look for budget also and we have uh, prepared for around 20000 us dollar 20 to 22000 and you have mentioned 30000 that's why uh, i have to ask the, this question mm. no, definitely the, definitely see the main main uh, main uh, challenge of this program is the financing but uh, that is what i said right you know loan the bank loan is 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 a, is a blessing for you know those who are financially challenged families yeah and indeed. i recommend yeah I, i i recommend taking the loan then once you know once the student uh, finishes one semester once the student gets used to with the environment everything the student will work 20 hours a week during the semester 40 hours a week during the summer vacation during the summer vacation the students will get the internship with around 30 40 dollars per hour of the salary then after one year maximum chances of getting assistantship so there are ways there are ways definitely i have also studied in the us and i also took a loan in 1991 i took a loan from bank of baroda and went there most of the indian students you know they 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 start working they they work off campus also and that is the development and that is what makes the student very hard working dedicated motivated and that is what makes his career because everything is to be done by himself or herself laundry cooking arranging for uh, transportation paying the fees you know washing the clothes papa mummy nobody is there no friends in the initial time so that is the greatest development and that makes them very very uh, at the high rank in the in the companies and after finishing the degrees they get a very hefty job 80 90000 dollars a year so that is the whole story about this so little bit of financial challenge but the the return on the investment is is a huge and it multiplies by 82 1 equals 82 rupees okay okay thank you sir uh, so sir, sir i had a question related to the students uh, accommodation uh, is it compulsory yes. for them to stay at the campus dorm or no, can no. they stay privately no no not compulsory to stay on campus never it is not compulsory and uh, i recommend don't live on campus because on campus is very very costly very costly so it's better to live off campus with four or five students sharing an apartment so that will bring down the rent to about 300 or 400 dollars per month instead of 1500 or 2000 dollars per month stay off thank campus you. thank you Good, good evening sir i have three questions yes uh is scholarship possible only in uh, year 4 or year 3 also year 3 very difficult to get the scholarship because the student is very new to the professors over there they don't know him or her so it is is very difficult to build that relationship in the first semester or second semester in the us and canada but once you start working on some project right then you you have a chance to prove yourself and that is why uh, i said fourth year chances are very high and definitely in the masters program second question is that uh, how many days uh, of the week uh, is the course here in nirma five days a week monday to friday and uh, what will be the timing sir yeah timing will be like 9 to 4 7 hours okay sir thank you
Yeah, Dr. Nayak, uh, uh, Nishit Desai, this side. Uh, regarding this, uh, if uh, suppose uh, uh, any visa problem and we have to then forcibly study here only, and uh, you said that we will get a BS degree, uh, the student will get a BS degree. So that is uh, like approved by UGC and uh, that, and it is recognized. As per the UGC guideline that was published uh, in, uh, you know, June 21, uh, we are supposed to uh, get in sync with the UGC about all the collaborations. The reason we started this last year is, you know, we got A plus accreditation uh, uh, two years ago, and that made us uh, uh, eligible to run this joint program, right? So these mm -hmm. programs are definitely uh, uh, in sync with UGC guideline. UGC sent me an email uh, uh, a week ago. They asked me that, you know, what are the MOUs you have? We replied them that these are the nine universities in US. These are the universities in Canada. So they have this database, they meaning UGC. They maintain the the list of the universities with whom we are collaborating. So everything is on the table. This, this mm. degree, the BS degree that Nirma awards, it is equivalent to BTEC and BE. Why we call it BS? I already told you the reason Correct. in my presentation. Yeah, that right? is And uh, see, more. what is important is the duration of the program. Is it a three-year program or a four-year program? You Correct. might know that. Okay. I, I hope I answer your question. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes, Nishit Bhai. Yeah, I could not hear the last part. Yeah, so it is a it is a de definitely a recognized degree, BS. And what is important is the duration of the program. Is it a three-year engineering or four-year engineering? Right. Correct. There are there are colleges which give BSc electronics, but that is a three year and not recognized by industries. This is a four year program, and that is what is that is what matters. The curriculum and everything is uh, recognized by the universities. Sorry, the companies. And in the in the case of uh, uh, not able to go to US or Canada for visa denial or whatever reason, we will definitely provide our placement option to those students okay and this will be f1 visa only in case of us right yes yes f1 student visa okay okay so i think the visas lately are i mean we don't face major issues there thanks thank when the parent tells this it gives us a lot of uh, confidence we tell this to everybody all the time but <laughs> if a parent tells this as you know visa is not a problem and that's true f1 visa is not a problem unless you have a very bad history in your passport or if somebody is uh, you know uh, lying in the application then the, mm -hmm. there'll be rejection otherwise no problem right right and, and this uh... Uh, so particularly uh, in the US, uh, you have a flexibility of uh, the, what courses you do. So is it this will be restricted to computer science or let's no, say no. if the student goes in no, third no. and fourth year, he can. Uh, no, our, the our, you, you'll be happy to know that our two years curriculum will uh, make him eligible to get transfer into computer science, computer engineering, artificial intelligence, data science, information technology, business analytics, uh, gaming. All, all these kind of majors. In, in, in some cases, electrical engineering. Okay. So electrical, uh, the electronics is also possible. It is a possible. Just to give you, give you a complete answer, if our students will get uh, transferred into computer science, US, he or she will get, uh, let's say, around 64 credits transfer. If the student is, uh, if your son is getting into electrical engineering, he or she might get around 58 uh, credit transfer. Okay. Okay. Understood. Which is Thank not, you. which is not a huge difference. Not a huge difference. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, thank and you. We Thank you. And we have, and we have, 
we have planned to introduce the other majors also in the uh, next year like you know we'll introduce uh, uh, electronics mechanical uh, other majors also right right so that will be open for uh, the batch that joins this year for this year it is computer science and uh, engineering and related majors okay right thank you sir we have 5 minutes uh, to for some more questions if anybody has a question please ask we just wanted you to feel comfortable about it uh, just wanted to give you as much information as possible so that your decision making becomes very easy and that is why we arrange this seminar and we might have missed something so your question will make it complete so please ask questions if you have all right uh, i mean that was a good uh, question answer session and uh, uh, zonun uh, you want to wrap up yes sir zonun uh, uh, professor yes. professor zonun narmawala is a uh, associate professor in our computer science department Hi. and uh, very Hi. great amount of experience you know teaching this uh, computer science and computer engineering uh, in, in in our institute and that's what he brings uh, uh, and back to the students i think there is a question in a chat box let me check there will, will there be any scholarship for the first two years no we don't have scholarship for the first two years in the nirma okay so no over to you yes sir so thank you very much for uh, uh, presenting the details about this particular program uh, uh, to the audience and uh, it was very informative session and we had a very good question answer session also that would have cleared doubts of uh, uh, most of the parents in uh, the uh, their wards so i hope that this session uh, uh, was useful to all of you and we are looking forward uh, uh, for your uh, engagement with nirma university thank you thank you everyone for joining once again uh,